Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trevlin and this is my quest log. So it's time for session number three of Soma. Welcome back everyone. It's been about a week again since I last played, but let's recap a little. You saw the loading screen right before this. And we just made it into Theta. We finished the last episode by opening that big gate and walking through here. And in here we are supposed to find the Dunbat, which will take us down deep, very deep into the ocean. Where apparently the Ark is being stored, and the Ark is this... I don't know what to call it, I mean, it's an artificial world. Like, think the Matrix, where we put in all different kind of people, like, you know, the data from them and they can live in this artificial world and we are meant to send it out into space where it's supposed to be safe and people can live happily ever after I guess so yeah let's get on with it not so sure what we're we supposed to do here oh we got a panel over here we got some of those goopy things. The WOW, I suppose it was called. W A U. Swipe! Access denied, of course. Let's check up here. I guess this is like the control room or something. Doesn't that say like. No or something else. Oh, we can break this. Wow, for the second time in the whole game, except when the tutorial showed us, we can break something. Eh heh! And again. Bam! And lights on. Oh, I was like, what the hell is that? Also, last session, sorry for that goddamn array puzzle. It was just crazy how long it took me to realize that, oh, I just have to press this button over here and everything's gonna be alright. Is this where I can put in another chip? Pathos 2, is this? I suppose Pathos 2 is the whole like collection of buildings down here, I guess. Squeeze me! A webcam. Looks like someone was. Let's play in. I don't know. Or at least having video conversations. Anyway. Hi, Kath. We're here. We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will oh, yeah, be nothing submarine. stopping us when we have the dumb bat. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Oh. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... 
It's quarantined. Hold on. Yeah. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. And I guess, shouldn't I bring we it We need to you? find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Guess I'm leaving you here. Boop. Ah, oh, lights. Okay, so we need to find some help. I'm just worried that that. Sorry, that teleporting kind of enemies around here somewhere. It scares the hell out of me. This place looks like it's full of the wow. Whoa. Okay, this looks like it's going down and scary noises. So let's check out the other place first. Let's go floor by floor. prefer being on the Ark by now, because this place is just fucked up. What happened to all the people? This place looks deserted. So far. It doesn't make any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. Sure about that? Not with the wow around and hmm. I'm just throwing out a thought here, but from what we've seen about the wow, it seems to be taking over machines and everything and sustaining them. Even people, we've seen that, keeping them alive we'll for forever. Out of the picture, where would you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron? Well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe Omicron. So, how about this? The Ark gets taken over by the WoW. Sustaining it forever. And... Well... If we uploaded ourselves to that then, shouldn't that be all right? I'm worried we won't find anyone. Maybe they all helped out with the Ark. To carry it to town? That well, seems excessive, but not out of the question. But I mean, if the problem is that we are worried that the Earth is gonna get destroyed by some more asteroids or something, and all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Hmm. Yeah. So just oh, let's check this out. Come in, I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Mm. Well, 
troubleshoot. Here we go. Connection error. Checking port source. Error code 06FF0A12. Unable to connect to mainframe. Please reset router in the sub level vault or contain contact maintenance. Okay, so we need to go down. Good to know. Oh, right. We're controlled like far away. Um, okay, nothing here, I suppose. But I can't remember, I mean, the Earth was struck by an asteroid. So that was. that is what. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. Yeah, so that's what caused the whole thing where this place started going crazy, or I mean, the power shut shutting down and things like that. Oh. Sub level, yeah. So maybe the danger is about the Earth getting destroyed is over. I mean, people are already dead on the surface. So maybe the vow might be a substitute. Is this the same thing? So I'm worried that In space. Sure, she says that it may sustain itself this for. Is where I the scans. So you saved the whole staff digitally on these chips? That was the plan. Ooh. Wow. That's a lot of them. Yeah, so. The Ark might be able to sustain itself in space for a couple of thousand of years with the solar panels and everything but I mean anything could happen up there I mean it might drift too close to another planet or something or maybe it was supposed to you know go around the orbit of the earth so hmm. yeah that now I'm remembering again it was supposed to go around the orbit of the earth so I guess it might be the safest bet. Do I need these somehow? Like talking to someone, but the whole place seems fried. I guess I can put those into like a computer somewhere maybe. If I fix the thingy on the sub level. Good. I'm happy I can't go in there. Okay, so up there we have the computer lab. What's down here? A stress ball. struggling with something called a proxy. The proxy we killed was blind, just like Acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. Keep my eyes open. Fuck that! This, I don't like this, I don't like this. Yeah. Okay. There's a red light in there. Sound. 
sounded like something breathing. And what worries me, if it's like human looking, or could pass for human at least, might it be able to open doors? Wow. for the first time after you learn that you are a robot shower no has not nope Fucking hell. Maybe the game starts off a little bit less scary than Amnesia, then Slowly but surely, well, you know, gets scarier and scarier the longer the game goes on. Or there's gonna be something in one of these doors one time when I open them. I'm not even sure what I'm doing here. Stop that! Oh, you're, you're gonna leave the lights off now. You're just gonna leave them like that. Oh, fucking great. That's just fucking great. Yep, we sure has... ...have that... ...scary feeling again. Okay. A lot of stress, stress things, you know, you're meant to. I feel like something is gonna happen when I walk down there. But also, these are the stairs, so... Okay, we're not going that way, it seems like. And neither that way, so... Oh, hang on, I need a sip of tea. Oh. This is just great! Just fucking great, and I haven't checked the sub-level yet. Hello? <sighs> okay. Guy Conrad, why is that? Why is his room sealed? Catherine? Speak with me, please. Maggie Komorebi. Brandon Van. Nadine Masters. Guess they're all locked. Nope, here we go. Catherine Chun. That seems to be open. David Goya, let's check all the others first. John Strommeyer, Mark Saran, they're all red. 
and accept Martin Fisher. What the fuck was that? Okay. Catherine. Where's my off button? Can I just shut myself down and Hey, that's Mars. You want me to bring something? No, it's just memories. Might find something bad. Thanks. Reminds me of Taipei, my hometown. Oh. What's a little projector? Looks homemade. That's my attempt at building a vivarium. It's kind of a proto arc. Search my room. We'll get by. Hey, let me learn something about you. Oh, journal. So, June 6th, 2103. Imog Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW. But more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way. Like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point she was scanned and then loaded, loaded as a simulation inside the digital, digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. Hmm. I wonder if that... is something about the teaser videos I talked in like the first session that they released before the game came out like a year ago, ago or something like that. June 14th, 2103. After dis dissecting the uh, vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar to its construction except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat people constructed from module neurographs, the vivarium's brain can scan lives... Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content from the origina originating brain. Sorry, I can't seem seems I can't read today properly. Uh, from its originating brain scan, read. Oh wait, son. it isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan. Read emerged. The read inside the vivarium was a perfect copy. June twenty fifth. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Path Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate Vow's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already pre prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. So what? You use the WoW thingy? June 22nd. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the defecation and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. July the 3rd. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to, th nice to think something will live on like that. July 12th. Mark Sarang killed himself after his scan. 
He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves, as it, as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Strawmeyer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. Gonna mention that somehow. Whoops. What's this, Catherine? Not so sure what that actually is, but it worries me a little. Scissor. Nothing else. Hat. A book. You have a lot of toys. We call them toys, more like, I don't know, memories from home. I suppose you'd really want to have them around living beneath or living at the bottom of the ocean. Anything beneath the bed? Of books, what's this? Nothing. Mm. What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean. Yeah, the support of Reed's Vivarium. It's, it, it, it's a long story, forget it. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Whoops. Oh. Sorry, Teddy. Scary monsters in here, I said. Guess. Oh, it's dark. It's really dark in here. in here. Why is his computer gone? Okay, so we got a thing we can poke there, but let's save that in case we get hurt. Can't hide beneath the desk, that's just peachy. Fuck, I can open it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Flower? 
least we have lights. And lots of blood. out kids drawing this reminds me of the flowers from uh, what was the name of the game uh, cradle that I made a side quest on we're all dying anyway I'm all in I put my faith in sarang and the cont continuity uh, continuity Okay, so killed herself. Oh. But I swear, did she have a child or something? It's very weird to kill yourself if you have a child. did I do? Oh, really? Kill herself with a razor. Fucked up. noise is coming from the air ducts. <laughs> 